Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we were basically just finishing up the winter vacation and we're hanging out with a couple of the uh, dorm mates uh, basically getting ready for the for the end. Getting everyone hyped up. And it looks like Igis can now be talked to. It's been a while since I last came to school. I know this isn't exactly the best situation, but I have a new outlook on so many things. Um, Makoto, do you have any plans after school today? Excuse me. If you don't mind, I would like to walk home with you. Uh, sure. Let's That's open great. up our social link. But there's one place I'd like to visit before returning to the dorm. Shall we go? I find myself coming here a lot lately. Before, I couldn't understand the benefits of coming to these shrines, but lately that's changed. This is also where we met Koromaru-san last summer. He waited here until we found him, even though he knew his master had died. I can understand why now. What drives people isn't necessarily facts, but feelings. He knew for a fact that his master had died. But his feelings of wanting to be with him made him stay. I feel the same. I recognized the fact that I can't protect you. But I came back anyway. Subconsciously, I was acting based on my emotions rather than logic. I was so confused at the time that I didn't notice it. But it's true. The parameters governing my behavior seem to have been updated during my time with you. I could send Igus's faint affection. And we unlocked an Arcana, a new Arcana. Thou shalt Aeon Arcana. Oh, I misspoke. I mentioned what drives people. But of course, Koromaru san and myself aren't people. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> I guess looks somewhat lonely. Welcome back. The school somehow feels different from last year. Has a strange atmosphere, doesn't it? A lot of students in my class were talking about cults and other weird things. I imagine this is something to do with the coming of Nyx. Uh -huh. We can't lose. Let's get past the promise today. Hmm. I didn't expect that cult to become so popular. I thought more people would oppose it. But it's like a fire drawing moths to its flame. The masses have simply accepted it. Hey. Everyone at school thinks this is just a normal third term. They have no clue that this may be their last third term ever. I don't know how to feel. Mm. Even though we're in the same class, it feels like we're living in different worlds. <sighs> I knew the cult would have some influence over the school, but to this extent, can you think of any effective ways to counter them? Just hope they resist the cult, I guess. Oh. You're right. All we can do is hope that people have it within them to withstand the cult's teachings. It's kind of a weird thing, like, it, it's like during the COVID pandemic, if people rose up saying, like, embrace COVID, it's the, it's the wave of the future, you know, it's, it's so weird. Uh, that's not what I wanted. Um, I don't think so. Just as expected, the cult's influence has reached our school. Some people have seemed to fully, to be fully devoted to it. We need to do something about Nyx. You were not wrong. Research shows that children's New Year's gifts are being affected by apathy syndrome. Due to the epidemic, parents are unable to visit their relatives and... Uh, 
Uh, let's try Escapade again. See if there's anything new. No. I think I'll buy a few more of those uh, dating set things. Let's buy 10. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, just those two. Oh shit, um... We'll have to go back. Uh, cause we want a Persona for, uh, for I guess. I don't think we've come across any Aeon based ones. Which means we'll probably have to make one. Marvelous! I'm looking f How may I assist you? This is your progress so far. Oh, we have Uriel. There's only three. Wow. Please take a look. You can't carry any more than that. Mm hmm. Are you in search of new power? Well, then. Shall Ooh. we take a look? Uh, actually, sorry. Let me just make sure I'm registered. Yeah. Now then. Well, then. Shall we so take tower, a look? Tower and Judgment, Empress and Moon, Pool and Judgment. I think I'll get rid of Tower and Moon, or Tower and Judgment. Are you satisfied with this? What do you wish to inherit? Debilitate, for sure. Um. I guess resist the elements is always good. Regenerate. It seems you have been. It's finally time. He won't level up that much anyway. Oh, I can see you've awakened to the power of creation. In which case, I shall serve at your side. Are you finished? We look Leave. Oh. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Oh. Cool. I didn't realize. Wonderful. <laughs> Debilitator Sutra. Bring me a bloody button. No, I'm good. Very well. It just basically debilitates them, right? Lowers one for yeah. Cool. Let's head back to town. Or to the dorm. And let us I don't think we really need to do this yet, but it doesn't matter. Let's just do it. So I need to finish off uh, Yuko and Mitsuru, because I believe they're both at level 9. Just looking to make sure there's like nothing else going on. Oh, hello there. Weather's lovely today. If you don't mind, I'd like to walk home with you again. Huh? Thank you very much. Before we leave, can we take a slight detour? 
I want to go to the roof. I like this place. I can see the entire town from here. The Moonlight Bridge is to the right, and over there is Polonia Mall. Oh, and did you know you can also see our dorm from here? Back in Yakushima, where I'd been sleeping, the ocean waters were much clearer than they are here. But I prefer the view here. Hmm. Before I came here, I didn't even think about whether I liked the scenery or not. What about you? Do you like it here? I like it here. I'm so glad to hear that. <sighs> Feeling the same way? Watching the same scenery? It's nice. I began to feel emotions towards various things that I hadn't felt before. It's a little scary sometimes. <sighs> but if I can change by being with you, then I want to cherish these feelings. I guess reveal to resolve to me. Oh, I'm sorry to have gone on for so long. It's still January, so the winds can get quite chilly up here. It would be awful if you caught a cold. I wonder if she's available every day. I see you're back. Only three more weeks till X day. The fate of the entire world. I'm not concerning myself with all that right now. All I'm thinking about at this moment is moving forward. By the way. Looks like the college entrance exams are on the 16th and 17th this month. I bet Sonata san and Kirijo Senpai are both gonna ace it. They try to hide it, but it's pretty obvious they study all the time. The cult is a hot topic among my classmates, even though we're only elementary students. But at least they're just talking about it and not actually followers. I heard that some middle and high school students have joined, though. That they have. And I just remembered, we can put Tayaki in today. And this might be the last time to put in the Tayaki. Sunday. Downtime. No school today. It's a mix. I'm going to do it. Four salvation badges, one for every member of the household. You can't be safe without them. But wait, we'll also provide a set of four disaster-proof backpacks. Now, how much would you pay? Not bad. Uh, this is the same thing as last year, or last week. Sorry. Bye bye. Yeah, I think we're done buying stuff. Hey, um. I, I thought at least our school would be safe from all that cult crap, but I guess I was wrong. All our classmates are talking about the end of the world and salvation and stuff. <sighs> Why do we have to go through this at school too? Good question. Oh, right. Akiko and I will be taking our college, ent college entrance exams on the 16th and 17th. So I'll be out during the afternoon, but we should be back before nightfall. Therefore, we'll be available to go to Tartarus, so not to worry. By the way. Oh yeah, we have tomorrow off for, uh, what was it again? Oh right, it's coming of age day. Like I said before, I just hope I can make even it. I can even make it to my twentieth birthday. I have tomorrow off too. Fuck. Who's I got, boy? Who's I got, pop? Oh, 
the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 46, The Great Devil's Tomato Farm. Owl doesn't like tomatoes? On to today's news. City officials are concerned that graffiti and posters are destroying the town's image and... And what? And what? Okay, looks like all I can do is hang out with Kaisuke. Okay, I'm a Kaisuke. <laughs> I really like hanging out here. This is a cool looking fountain. Hmm. Listen. Hey, we should organize an outdoor sketching session one of these days. That'd be cool. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we could actually do it or not, but I think it's a fun idea. Hiraga looks happy. I feel like we became a lot closer today. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry, what should we do next? Should we get something neat? Two of us hung out for a while longer, then I decided to go back to the dorm. Because I'm so busy in the evenings, let me tell you. I see you're back. Uh, let's go tend the garden, I guess. Oh. Uh, actually, hang on. Oh. Let me just make sure. Perhaps. Yes. There's still so many things I want to do in life. I don't want to die before I, be before I can become an adult. I plan to do everything I can to make sure that doesn't ever happen. Cool. Today is coming of age, Dan. The, uh, there were parties planned in each area for those turning 20. However, due to apathy syndrome, many of the parties had to be canceled. Nothing to do. Something for you. Sure. Let's go take a look. Hey. Look on your face tells me you're ready to finish off one last big job. No matter what you're up against, I have faith you can pull I'm this off. On you. Spare no preparation and make sure you come back alive. Uh huh. So what did you have for me? Prices oh, just a, a discount today. Take a look if you have the chance. Yeah, you know what? I may not be. Uh, I may not be able to work on everyone's uh, best weapons. Everything look good here. Take your time. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. Uh, don't sell. Yeah, I might as well just buy everyone's weapon. That what you want? All right then. Oh my God! Look at the difference. That what you want? All right then. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. That what you want? Great. Burn it's away all yours. Purity. Everything. Great. It's all yours. Everything all right then. Okay, now let's do the armor. I got some new things in stock. 
Check it out if you've got the time. That what you want? Having second thoughts? See, this makes more sense. That what you want? All right, then. Don't sell that. Strength plus three and high counter. Yeah. That what you want? Great. It's all yours. Everything looks good. It's all yours. Everything all right then. Everything good. It's all yours. Look <laughs> at the difference in defense. Great. It's all yours. Okay, so now well, the footwear. Physical evasion is high. Yeah, like this makes <laughs> more sense. All yours. Don't sell. Okay. And uh, accessories, I don't think for? there's anything I really need. Mm -hmm. Cool. You finished? Be yep. seeing you. See you. Um. Yep. So let's work. I haven't been getting any raises. It's just, I think it's capped at like 6,500. Which kind of sucks, but whatever. Oh, welcome back. Today's coming of age day. I mean, it was coming of age day. I don't want my life to end before I become an adult. Let's make sure we win. And then just like always, let's all come back here together. A fine plan. Beautiful. Amazing. Uh, I guess we can hang out with Mitsuru. Um, that's... Whether or not you believe in the cult is a personal decision. I would never believe in it myself. When I think of my friendship with Natsuki-chan, I have no need to join the cult. Well... The bond of friendship. Though this may sound cliche, I believe the beautiful I believe the ability to forge bonds is the most beautiful thing about being human. Yeah. In the end, the most important things are the bonds formed between people. Yeah. That's right. No matter how much power someone has, nobody can survive alone. Um about the cult. I wonder how many people truly believe in it. It seems that much of the public will openly discuss the end of the world without truly understanding the consequences. Oh. Yeah, I think I get what you mean. I've noticed something similar, too. Like, some people are just going along with it, saying things like, I joined the cult because my friend believes in it. Hmm. I overheard some folks talking the other day, too. They said that life was so boring, it wouldn't be so bad if the world ended. Perhaps. In other words, they think of the cult as nothing more than a trend. It helps people fill the emptiness they feel inside. Hmm. That cult is everywhere. All over the city, even in our school. 
Everyone is talking about how the world is going to end as if it's fact. Seriously? Yeah. How can they give up so easily? Well, yes, but... Then again, we can't really expect everyone to think like us. Yes. Yeah, every human is different and will come to their own conclusions. But that's why I believe there are more people out there who won't give up either. Hmm. Who's a dumbass in charge of that cult? Here we are busting our asses and they go and pull this crap. Excuse me. You can't just blame the cult. The cult exists only because there are people willing to believe in it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's just how the world works. Well, that means it's up to us to do something about it. I bet you Strega's behind it. I mean, it kind of makes sense. They were advocating for the end of the world. It only makes sense that they would uh, put up the flyers and shit and have everyone else believe in it. Salut. Yeah, let's hang out. Thank you. Why don't we try adding some spice today? Go ahead and blend it however you like. I enjoyed brewing tea with Mitsuru. I always find this to be so relaxing. I suppose you could call it a moment of bliss. Decadent tea. Let me know whenever you're in the mood for more tea. I'd be happy to treat you. Back to school. By the way, I wanted to show you this magazine that hit the stands today. What? Which one? Don't tell me it's an article about cults. Everyone's been saying the end is near lately. What's up with that? Hold up. Just read it. You'll see how true it really is. Well, you see there's a dark hour in hmm. the middle of the... Ooh, it's cold. I wish I could get my skin plated. Plated with metal so you could be more cold. Then I'd shine as bright as the sun. You know what I mean by plating, right? It's when objects are layered in a thin metallic layer. Yeah, but metal also conducts cold as much as heat. Anyways, tin plating is done by plating iron with tin. For a corrugated galvanized iron, you plate the iron with zinc. Gold medals, by the way, are created by plating silver with gold. So technically, Olympic athletes don't win gold medals. Kind of a bummer, right? No, let's stay awake. That's why. The night sky is awful beautiful these days, thanks to the air being so clear. Stars produce light via nuclear fusion, and the planets reflect that light back out into the universe. Of course, neither celestial body is superior to the other. They both have their pur purposes. Life is the same way, though it might be hard for you kids to understand that now. By the way, have you heard the news going around? The media makes it sound supernatural in origin. But don't listen to all that. These sort of wild rumors spread every now and then, like a drop of dye on a specimen. It'll all die down soon enough. So it looks like she's here every day. Um, I might just finish off uh, Mitsuru right now. Because she may not be available on certain days afterwards, right? Oh, we're still rank 8. Okay, let's finish it up. Um, I need to talk to you. I'm pretty sure you already know about what. I just need to tell you what's on my mind. We can talk later if you don't have the time now. Yeah, let's do it. My apologies. All right then. In that case, can we go to the roof? All right. 
I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. <sighs> what am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. Don't worry about it. That's kind of you. Thank you. The things my ex-fiancé said to you were inexcusable, but more importantly, I wanted to apologize for my own behavior. When that happened, um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Talk about bold. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. Obligated? Here goes. I... I... love you. Mitsu's voice is trembling. I better choose my words carefully. Come to think of it, I have a special relationship with another person already. I feel like I'm going to die of embarrassment. Oh, I feel so terrible. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, Mitsuru. I see. That's unfortunate, but I'm glad I cleared the air. You told me it was up to me how to handle these emotions. Thanks to that, I was able to be honest with myself. If I had kept my feelings locked up, I never would have been able to move forward. It is imperative to be true to our hearts, just as you were with your answer. Thank you. If I hadn't harbored these emotions, I would have continued lying to myself, justifying it all under the Kirijo name. And if that had happened, there's no doubt I would have failed on my path in the future. From now on, I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. I can sense Mitsuru's deep trust. I feel like our relationship has grown. Now then, I certainly have a lot to thank you for, but there's one more matter I'd like to bring up. I haven't eaten since this morning, so I'm terribly famished. I'd say you bear some responsibility for this. I could do with some takoyaki on our way back. Your treat? I'd hardly complain if you were to do at least that much to mend a broken heart. Stop by the strip mall and return to the dorm. Oh, there you are. We're all going to Hagakure. Wanna come? I don't like ramen. <laughs> um... Sure. Wow, that was easy. Sonata-san's buying today. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? Wow, you probably forgot all about it by now. I oh, did, actually. You won in the end, even if it was, I guess. But whatever, Sonata-san still lost, right? <laughs> even if it took me like six months to make him admit it. 
Come on, everyone else already left. We got a jet. Everyone's okay with the special, right? Sounds good to me. Okay, five specials, please. <laughs> Man, this is awesome. Sonata Sons never treated us all to ramen before. I'll accept that I lost. But why do I have to treat all of you? You're still going on about that? Come on, Sonata Son, a bet to bet. You gotta pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. Does I guess even eat? What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on the counter? The headline caught my attention. All the way from over there? What magazine? This one, Emergence of a Messiah. The charismatic one speaks. Oh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Oh. Hmm? Hey, look at this photo. Check out their so-called messiah. What the? Is it Takaya? Is that Takaya? Yeah. I thought something was up. So, it's Strega after all. There you go. I just lost my appetite. Listen. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is known as Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. When Nyx arrives, there will be no more pain, no more suffering. Humanity shall be freed. How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? But that's a lie! I don't think that even matters. This is all just a game to him. That bastard! But there are those who do not understand the truth, even though they have also been granted her blessing. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. Wait, is he talking about us? Too loud. Technically, he's not wrong. Technically. Right, right. Sorry. But can you blame me? And what do they mean by the charismatic one? Why is he suddenly a celebrity? Well, apparently Jin was already pretty well known on the internet. He's probably good at influencing public perception. Yeah, I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame by building his brand like a celeb. Uh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is upon us, my brethren. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Perhaps the power of an exceptionally charismatic individual is the only way to change this nebulous future. That's the end of the article. It appears Strega disappeared again after the interview. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. Tartarus. <laughs> They're just wasting everyone's time. Still, it seems they've managed to shift the atmosphere of the entire city. Even if they don't say it out loud, people must be scared inside. Yeah, they probably are. Why else would anyone believe this nonsense? It's not normal. Believing what you hear is a choice. There's no real way for them to know what's true. Well, no wonder it feels like the world's ending. We're all gonna die. But is that so unusual? All life will eventually come to an end. Does Nyx's involvement change that in some way? 
Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? They're not ready to die. I guess. Tell you the truth? I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this happened. But we're already here, so why don't we just leave it at that? Our target is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll deal with them too. That's all there is to it. Agreed. We'll probably run into them in Tartarus anyway. No matter how you look at it, they want us out of the picture. Promise day's almost here, huh? Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. Alright. And first things first, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat! Excuse me! I'll add a hog of Kurebo to the list! You don't mind, right, Sonata-san? Oh, Junpei, didn't you say you were eating half of Igus's food, too? <laughs> don't worry, I'm starving. You better eat it all. Yeah, seriously, that's a lot of food. Like, ramen bowls are fucking huge. Everyone's got something new to say. Is that... I have to admit, it's impressive how well Strega has manipulated the media. But I'm a little disappointed in the media for being so easily influenced by them. There's a possibility. Do you think the media were paid off by Strega to promote them? Actually, that would be even more disappointing. Wait, you could buy off the media? And basically get them to tell the public whatever you want to tell them? Surely not. Stop messing around! Damn it, can you believe those Strega assholes went and pulled that bullshit on us? They've been running their mouths about the damn cult, and now they're gonna pin the blame on us? Yeah, ain't no way I'm letting them off easy. Even if they get on their knees and beg for mercy. Is that? I'd say 95% of the people referred to as charismatic by the media are charlatans. Strager is certainly not in the genuine 5%. They don't have charisma. They're just agitators who are stirring up unrest in society. I mean, yeah. You have to be charismatic to be an agitator, otherwise no one's going to listen to you. So, um... I think the magazines are interviewed by Strag... That interview Strager are ridiculous. They're so insensitive. They think that they could just write whatever they want as long as it sells. <laughs> that's capitalism. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that's right, capitalism. But... That's true, but it still doesn't make it right. Um... I think Strega is controlling people by taking advantage of their insecurities. So if people have enough confidence, Strega probably can't influence them. I mean, for one, none of us have been swayed by their preaching, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, so no matter what, just don't forget who you are and what you really believe in. I think. Even if I wasn't in C's, I still wouldn't join the cult. How about you? You think you'd ever fall down that rabbit hole? No way. <laughs> That's what I thought you'd say. The cult can't influence those who are true to themselves. Boxing helped me find my true self, and it seems like you have your own activities to keep you focused. Yeah, like getting my taiyaki from the fridge. To everyone in the dorm, if you'd like, each of you can take one. I was given these by an acquaintance when I was taking my college entrance exams. Please remember to rehydrate while doing your own study. Serve them. There are bottle drinks in the basket. I'll gladly accept one. Umugi water. One twenty-two. Okay. Uh, I have to go up to the rooftop. Yeah, plant the... Simple herb sprout. Remember getting a simple herb spread. I'm just gonna quickly check and see what that does. Because we only have one, right?
Okay, so what it does, your next physical attack will do more than double the damage. Uh, I'd rather take the golden tomato sprouts. One twenty-seven, just in time. And then we can go back to the lounge. Uh, and then we'll do Fuka. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh -huh. My brother has been acting weird lately. When I pressed him for details, he told me he was invited to join the cult at Escapade. Seriously? <laughs> Your brother's always been kind of gloomy, though. Anyways, I never would have thought someone all for salvation and stuff would be at a club. Hmm. Apparently this guy's always lurking in the corner of the dance floor. He's got this crazy look in his eye when he goes off about the moment of salvation or whatever. Personally, I'd stay far away from him. Someone suspicious seems to be persuading people to join a cult at Club Escapade. I should probably be more careful whenever I go there. I'm gonna guess it's Takaya. Yuko. Alright, let's go talk to Yuko. By the way, don't you think it's hard not to stare at people talking about cult stuff? Uh, not really. Yeah. I know, I know. It's better just to ignore them. Then ignore them. No. Yuko! Hi! Want to chat outside? Uh, sorry, I just want to make sure. Yeah, she's right now. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. You go on ahead to the field. I'm gonna stop by the faculty office to go over some notes. And this should be the last one. For you, Sorry, but. I'm late. I was asking the teacher about something I didn't understand in class, but then it led to even more questions. So <laughs> I was stuck there for a while. Oh, this is so heavy. I shouldn't have crammed everything in there. Want me to carry it? No, oh, it's okay. I'll just think of it as weight training. Still, I can't believe how heavy these textbooks are. Students all over the world have it rough. Whenever I come to this field, I get so nostalgic. It hasn't even been that long since we coached those kids though, huh? That's just how fulfilling it was. You said it. I had to really put my brains and body to work. I've never had to run around like that. Not even for the track team. Oh, that's right. Here, take this. Got a kid's letter. It's from those kids. They told me to make sure I give it to him. Where's yours? I got one too. They told me they would never forget their auntie. <laughs> when you get something like this, it makes you forget how tough it was in the moment. Kind of makes me want to do it all again. What about you? Only if you're doing it too. Huh? Me? Well, yeah, I guess I do want to. Next time we should get more people to help coach though. It was pretty tough with just the two of us. But once I'm caught up on school, I'd like to take some time to think. Not just about coaching, but about enjoying life and stuff too. <laughs> I can hardly wait. All right, time to study like hell. Oh, let me know when you figure out what you want to do for your future too, okay? If you decide on something similar, maybe we could even study together. Yuko and I talked for a long time.
Adavaka, the Wisdom King General. Oh, look at the time. Uh, I need to go buy some reference books. See you around. Welcome back. We're almost halfway through January. Today's the 13th, so we only have 18 more days. To be honest, I was still nervous about until recently, but I'm not nervous anymore. I know that we'll be all right. Um. Hi. Time really flies by. Let's spend the remaining 18 days with no regrets. A magazine released yesterday is making waves throughout the community. The uproar stems from an article about a cult known a cult leader known as Charisma. According to the teachings of Nixism, there is a power that eliminates worries of the future. Belief in this ability is causing many young students to join the cult. What day was I supposed to? Was it the 22nd? Yeah. Do I have any Taiyaki left? so many items. The easiest way is just go to the school and it will tell me how many I have. Uh, Akihiko and Igus. So Igus is upstairs, I take it. So I will spend time at the computer for Mitsuru. Because I didn't do it last time. They were handing out flyers at Polonia Mall the last time I went. It's the same one that's plastered all over the city. Wow! Oh yeah, the one about Nyx, right? Oh, I was, I was supposed to go to Escapade. Completely forgot. We'll do that today. Yeah. Huh, is that how you say it? I don't know. I just like the logo. The stuff written here is kind of interesting, too. Maybe I should ask him about it next time. Mitsuru is available, so let's hang out with her and finish, try and finish her off at least. Salut. Do you have any plans today? If not, then maybe we could feel the micro closer. Good. I see. The battery and tire pressure look good, and I've already changed the oil, so that's fine. Impressive. Well, this is just basic maintenance. Anyone can do the same. Though if I start tinkering with the suspension and whatnot, there'd be no end to it. There have been days I've lost track of time doing this and had to run into meetings covered in oil. It seems I'm the type of person who can fall very deep into things. I'll have to be more careful. Oh, by the way, the matter involving my ex-fiance was resolved sooner than I expected. They ended up reaching out to us about a potential business arrangement. Without any of the marriage talks, of course. We managed to negotiate some favorable terms, so that should put the company back on track. I could have decided to burn that bridge, but I'd prefer not to shut down a genuine attempt to compromise. It may be thanks Smart. to you that I've become so open-minded. Alright, before we head out, I had a small gift for you, since you've done so much for me. motorcycle key it's the key to my motorcycle I'm not going to run from my future anymore rather there's no longer any need to this motorcycle isn't meant to be an escape from my feelings it's a dear friend that gives me the freedom to go wherever I please 
Once I realized that, I felt that I absolutely had to show it to you. As our leader, I think it would be quite fitting if you had the skill to ride my dear friend here. When this is all over, let's take this motorcycle and go on a trip somewhere together. Great idea. Isn't it? <laughs> we'll have to start thinking about where we want to go. I look forward to the day you learn how to ride it yourself. Once we go on that trip, I imagine it'll be full of things I've still yet to see. You were the one who taught me the joy of new discoveries. I can hardly wait. Sura seems to respect me deeply as a friend she can trust. I always wanted to learn to ride a motorcycle. Now fuse Alilat. All right, I think we've talked enough. Today, it's my turn to show you something new. Go ahead and sit on the back. Don't worry, it's just a short drive. I even prepared a helmet for you. The weather is perfect today. The view from the Moonlight Bridge is quite a sight to see, you know. Here goes. Hold on tight. We rode around the city, then returned to the dorm. That, <coughs> that's cool. That's cool. Welcome back. Sup, dude? Today's exchange rate, the yen is now 108.42 to the dollar. Japan's currency has experienced a tremendous decline. The result of apathy syndrome and cult teachings is becoming... Something we'll never know about. Okay, so let's head to Club Escapade. Let's see what uh, what Takaya has to say. You there? You live in a world where emptiness roams and chaos reigns. You struggle so fervently, twinkling like stars in the night. But such delusion will not lead to deliverance. Why not join us in the Messiah? and await the moment of salvation. I'm busy right now. We still have time. You say that only because you don't know the truth. Heed the voice of the Messiah and follow the path to true salvation. Suspicious man that preached to me is staring at me from, the, from over by the wall. Once he starts, it's probably going to take a while for him to finish. <sighs> okay, let's see what he has to say. Are you ready to hear the voice of the Messiah and welcome to salvation? If I accept, I wonder what they'll tell me. Could be dangerous. What should I do? Time will not wait. Now's the time to take action. Not now. Uh, let me save first. Alright, I'll meet the Messiah. Well then, follow me. It's obviously Takaya I'm gonna meet. Now, go and speak to our savior. Well, well, well. I do believe this is the first time you've ever visited me. Hmm. I'm sure you are aware of the coming salvation. More like destruction. I understand your perspective. I'm certain you've realized it by now. We have no further reason to be enemies. Your efforts were all for naught. The Dark Hour will persist, and Nyx will bring an end to this planet. I would just like to point out, if it weren't for my efforts, you wouldn't be in the situation you're in, where you're like, salvation is at hand. He doesn't know that, but if we had known we did, we wouldn't be where we are right now. Fate has been decided. 
But there is no need to worry. We are simply being freed at last from the illusion of a future rife with betrayal. Nothing more, and nothing less. All you must do is embrace this truth. Do so, and I shall be your shepherd. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, we're not giving up yet. <laughs> ah, but of course. That's just the kind of person you are. <laughs> so then. You intend to fight Nyx? Fight and win. I see. I scorn those who preach about the future with improvidence. The world does not need a script that is already written, nor does it want for charlatans who speak as though the future can be seized. What it needs is for the curtain to fall. If I just endure for now, if I can wait until tomorrow, these blind hopes for the future are the root of the people's suffering. They can never be saved because they look to a future that doesn't exist. It doesn't matter whether you can defeat Nyx or not. Why, you ask? Because you won't even be able to reach her. On the day of salvation, I will wait atop the Tower of Demise for Nyx to arrive. And be warned, if you dare to oppose me, I will show no mercy. If you truly, truly believe Nyx can't be defeated, then why would you even oppose me? Why wouldn't you just be like, go right ahead? See if you can do it. You know what I mean? People have wandered morning, into Tartarus. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safe goodbye now. Fucking idiots. Yes, exactly. Sob. Finally, on September 24th, the Satsuma Rebellion ended. This marked the age, the end of the age of the Samurai. You know what? I'm blowing off the next chapter. I want to go back to the Sengoku era. There's so much more to cover. What? You want me to teach you modern history too? You guys are still in your second year. You'll have plenty of time to learn that crap when you're third years. People out there might be talking about the end of the world, but believe you me, Believe you me, there'll always be another school year. I mean, come on. Has no one been paying attention? Look at all the stuff our country survived so far. And so... Alright, so let's review what we've learned, starting with the Kamakura era. How did the Kamakura Shogunate come about? Let me tell you. I'm smart. Let's... Oh, Mitsuru's not here. Alright. I guess it is. I guess... Oh, Oh, we're done with Mitsuru. What am I saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makoto, are you leaving today? Then I'll come with you. Thank you very much. So I think we'll only really have time to finish off Aegis. Um, or I could continue Fuka. She's over, she's what, like halfway done? Something like that? Um, yeah, we'll just do Aegis. Behind me, this could be dangerous. 
Again, they couldn't get real animals to do these voices. It, it, it takes me out of the moment. Then again, if a cat came up to me and was like, hissing in like a human voice, I'd be freaked out too. They seem very angry. You're the ones that I often see at the shrine. What's wrong? <laughs> what? Koromaro-san? You think we what? Wait, we aren't mistreating Koromaro-san. It's true that he's been helping us in our battles, but... What? No. Oh, um... These are Koromaro-san's old friends. They doubt our intentions regarding Koromaro-san, since he's been more frequently injured lately. How can we make them understand? Let's try explaining. This is all a misunderstanding, everyone. Shiba Inu. Please don't be angry. Just calm down. Uh. Oh. Uh, I'm so sorry. My hand is hard. You brought it on yourself. See, no wonder they're suspicious of me. My body is completely unnatural to them. I hope that dog isn't hurt. Hmm. I've been thinking lately. No matter how human my heart becomes, my body will always remain a machine. Of course, it's obvious when you think about it, but I'm not strong enough to be a weapon, and I'm too stiff to pass as a human. There's nowhere I truly belong. I'm neither completely machine, nor quite human. <sighs> That's not true. But... <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. You're right. Even if I can't quite explain it, I have to be true to myself. Hmm. Sorry for bringing all of this up. If I hadn't been created, I never would have met everyone. And that includes you. If I can stay by your side, then nothing should faze me. I know that. But... I can send Igus's fate affection. I should make sure that Koromaru-san's friends understand our situation. I don't want you to end up in danger again. I'll see you later. I guess there's a lot to reflect on. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Time seems to pass by so quickly lately. It's already the middle of January. Um, excuse me. Koro, I will no longer waver. I know what I want to do. That is to fight alongside you. You've been wavering this whole time? My god, everyone's got something new to say. I suppose. No matter what may happen, I will fight to the very end, ever at your side. I won't accept this fate. I'll stand against the fall. Um... Is that...? I've seen the username Jin before. He's very popular and has a lot of support from his followers. He's a very charismatic figure. I can't believe he's the same Jin as the one from Strega. Hey. Studying for the college entrance exams got me thinking about where my life's going. So I'll say this again. We've all got our futures ahead of us, and we're not going to let Nick stand in our way. Seriously? Everyone being fooled by that cult better wake up, man. Don't they know that Strega's all behind it? Hell, they don't have anything else to believe in other than Strega's BS sermons. No. No, they don't. We'll level up, I guess.
By the way... I've been feeling kind of down lately, so I went to Escapade for a change of pace. And someone was selling these brand new super cute accessories there. Sucks I couldn't buy anything though. Everything was way over my budget. It's like I have nothing to talk about if I don't buy anything new. Is there anything affordable around here? By the way... What about Umiyushi's new menu item? People have been talking it up. No way! Hmm, maybe I'll try it. Gotta stay up to date with the latest trends and all. Although, seems like a lot of trends have to do with religion these days. Sounds like some shops have new products out. I should take a look soon. Um... Uh... You better think this through. Man, now I sound like a teacher. Who would have thought that would happen? Well said. Choosing a career sucks, man. I'm serious this time. Shit, what should I do? World's your oyster, my friend. You can do anything you want. Um, let's go to the strip mall. Let's see what Umiyushi has. I'm a little curious. I studied all about cats, and I told my dad about it. He said I did a great job, and he was impressed. And he promised he was going to convince my mom. I hope I can get this cat. Meow? The cat is staring into space. Oh no! It's affecting the apathy, the apathy syndrome is affecting him. My mom and dad kept saying this weird phrase. Believe in Nick-sama and be saved. But who's Nick-sama? Listen to the emptiness and empty your own heart. You will hear a sound. That is the sound of Nixama, her heartbeat, her breath, her whisper. When the salvation is at hand, your heart will be free of pain, and you will be at peace. But alas, there are still many irredeemable people in the world who cling to this world and doubt Nixama. The pain in your heart will be as the burning red flames of hell. Wah, 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 wah. Welcome. Nope. Come back whenever. Come on in. Now if I staff debuffs for all allies. That's actually pretty useful. Oh, I can only buy one? So it's one a day. Come I'll have to remember to come here. Because that's huge. And for only 1500 Uh, Let's see what Polonia has. Seems that the thing to do with... It seems to be the thing to do to join that what it seems to be the thing to do to join that cult thing now there we go why isn't anyone trying to stop him from doing from doing such a damn fool thing did you see the news some thug broke into the hall where the university testing is held my eldest is entering high school next month i'm worried my neighbor's son was apparently taking the test then he said the man was screaming Nix or, or something with a crazy look on his face. Yeah? Uh huh. Sarah's getting more dangerous. Someone even broke into our storage basement a bit ago. But I bet he had a scare of a lifetime once he saw what was inside. <laughs> now then, peruse away. What was There's inside? A sale today. Buy whatever you need. I want to know what was inside. Which one? Uh, I'll buy five. You should. Thanks. Which ones? I shall buy ten. Thanks, Thanks for order. coming. You sure? Well, I'll buy five more of these. Never know. Thanks.
Which ones? Thanks for coming. Done already? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, chump. Uh, then I'll have to come back in the evening and see what stuff Escapade has. Everyone's talking about how the end is coming, but I don't care. All I care about now is this game. I'm getting a lot better at it. I can win a prize almost every time. My ultimate goal? To complete my collection. Is it still Jack Frost? No. What level is Fuka at? I'm just curious. She's six. She's four. Uh, I'm trying to think. Can I do both? So she still needs four more days. And I guess only three, so seven. That's eleven days. Uh I don't think I have eleven days. I mean it goes to the twenty seventh, yeah, but keep in mind there's also the weekend, there might be another day off. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save here. 116. And I'll see if I can finish Fuka. No. No, 889, eight, yeah. Um. It is for Yeah, so. I'll see if I can do both, because I know Fuka is not here every single day. Um, I'll focus on her. If it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll come back to this day and just focus on I guess, I guess. That's Heading to the used bookstore right now. You want to join me? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Been looking for a good cookbook for a while now. Do you think they'll have any? Mm. There weren't really that many cookbooks, were there? I'm sorry. I didn't realize that store mainly sold manga. I should have looked the place up beforehand. <sighs> what is it? Oh, um, do you mind if we take a seat? Do you remember what I told you before? I mentioned that I don't really like going to bookstores. Yeah, I remember. Well, about that. I had a bit of a bad experience in a bookstore once. I think it was at the start of last April. Someone took a picture of me. They accused me of stealing. I'm not very tall, right? So when I was reaching for a high shelf, I accidentally knocked some books down. Well, a few of them landed in my bag. I went to take them out and put them back on the shelf, but some girl from my class took a picture of me with her cell phone. She even threatened to show my parents. You did nothing wrong. Right? I bet you think I'm stupid for letting this get to me. If I'd just spoken up, I could have settled it right there. I know that, but I... I still couldn't say anything back. All these negative thoughts kept running through my head. I thought no matter what I said, it wouldn't do any good in the end. But now, I want to believe that I can change. Whenever I'm with you, I feel like I don't get swept up in those negative thoughts. I know I'm being selfish, but... Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm making it sound like I'm just using you, aren't I? Th that's not what I meant, really. What I'm trying to say is... 
I've really come to depend on you, and I'm really happy that you're there for me. That's all. Fuka express how she feels about me. Oh, um, sorry. I'm always going on about my own problems. At this rate, I'm never going to be able to repay you. I should have just discussed my cooking concerns with everyone at the dorm, but... Somehow, I find myself always going to you for help. I want to hear your opinion, but more than that, I feel at ease when you're with me. I wonder why. I'm sure it's because you're a leader. That's why I depend on you so much. Is that the only reason? isn't the only reason. <sighs> Sorry, um, I, I think I need to go back to the dorm. I need some time to get my thoughts in order. Could we talk about this again later? Sure. <sighs> Thank you. I'm going to head back now. Luca left. Uh, I didn't get a single note in that a whole interaction. Mitsuru Senpai and Sanada Senpai went to take their entrance exams today. They're going again tomorrow, too. How do they concentrate with everything going on? No. Why wouldn't I concentrate? I'm not about to give up. <laughs> I suppose you could say we're defying fate. But I want to ensure that I'm doing everything I can that I can be doing. Which is to say that I won't give up either. Oh, right. By the way, if you're going to Tartarus, I'll go with you. The final battle's in a couple of weeks. I'm not putting training on hold just because of some exam. <laughs> Wow, I don't know if I can keep up, but at the very least, I won't give up either. Hey! I don't really know how they do it, but however they do it, I think they're right too. I'm actually feeling kind of inspired, so maybe I'll do some studying on my own too. Oh, but I'll also definitely go to Tartarus if you want. Um... Um, hey! Whenever I see followers of the cult... It just reminds me that there's no way I'll ever devote myself to it. Even if I'm ever, even if I'm ever swayed to join, hearing Natsuki-chan's voice would snap me back to reality. Perhaps. If only everyone could form a strong bond with someone, then nobody would flock to that cult. College entrance exam examinations held today. One student who brought a BB rifle to the testing center sent a panic through the crowd. By the way, come to think of it, have you decided on a career path yet? I recommend being proactive now so you're not overwhelmed as a third year. Remember, defeating Nyx isn't the end. Well, it's a means for us to keep moving forward. So, um, I was thinking about what Strega said about the fall being salvation. Didn't someone else say something similar? Uh, you mean Ikutsuki? Yes. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember Ikutsuki san talking about salvation and the fall. You think it was just a coincidence? No. No, I don't. Okay, so let's go to Escapade, see what items, what new items they have. Welcome. Nothing. Come they lied to me. Even this guy doesn't have anything new. All right, back I go. The media is attempting to sway public opinion by reporting on Strega's activities in a positive light. And the most popular queries on the internet include the words Nyx, Cult, and End of the World. Do people truly yearn for the fall after all? Maybe. People are aren't people either have no will to live, or they aren't allowed to have any will to live. That's the current state of the society we live in.
Uh, we hung out with Fuka. No school today. It's a I'm good. Yeah, same thing. By the way, it's getting pretty obvious who believes in the cult and who doesn't. Do you have any friends besides us who don't believe in the cult? Uh, I think so. Oh, wow. That's reassuring. I think this kind of thing really reflects a person's virtue. It couldn't be. The machine that malfunctioned in the command room. The camera? Oh, don't mind me. I just realized something. Oh. <laughs> On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R. Episode 47. The Great Emperor's Glory. The fight is almost at its end. On to today's news. Belief in Nyx seems to be increasing throughout the city. Is it already not at its peak? Um. Oh, right. That's what I was going to do. Is there something new? Why can't I open this door? to go here. And get the bowl. Come on in. Oh, I can only get one? I really can't. Is it I think it's once a week. Come back in. Some cult is gonna save all of humanity. I wonder if they could save a lowly cabbie like me. I didn't realize how much my family meant to me until I lost them. All I want is to have him back. You think if I ask Nick Sama or whatever, I'll get my family back? The other day, my teacher called on me in class. I just ignored him because I don't like him much. Thought he would get mad at me, like he did at that practice. But he just made a sad face. It's not my fault. It's his fault for for being so boring. You know, I just realized where is everyone? The apathy people. This place was littered with them before. So I think I'm going to do, uh, what's her name again? Buka. Just to kind of make sure. Uh, Strega believes in the fall. Strega believes the fall will bring salvation, but I wonder what my grandfather thought of it. He didn't believe in mm. the future, so perhaps he also thought like Strega. But that's just speculation. The dead cannot speak on their own behalf, so we may never know. Mm, nothing going on. Okay, let's go tend to the garden.
I uh, guess we'll get started. Let's get started, shall we? Zilka Zilka Besa Besa. There's been an awful lot going on in the world lately, but you shouldn't let it get to you. Many people are overly susceptible to the effects of the occult. The worst thing a magician can do is lose control. Always do what must be done, and you'll be fine. Anyway, today's lecture is on the magic of ancient Greece. Greece is known as the birthplace of Western philosophy and rationality, but the art of the curse advanced right alongside those lofty notions. While Greece was home to the great philosophers like Socrates, Thales, and Plato, it was also the home to legendary enchantress, enchantresses. For example, there was Medea, the passionate sorceress of Colchis. She was a witch who didn't hesitate to kill her brother or even her own children. Then there was Circe, daughter of Helios, who was an expert in both poison and medicine. Without Hermes' help, the legendary Odysseus would have been turned into a pig by Circe. These may have only been myths, but by reading between the lines, you can see ancient Greece's views on magic. Greek magic began to take shape around the 8th century BC. It was around the same time that the poles, or city-states, were developing. Uh, like many ancient civilizations, they worshipped gods for protection. There were temples that priestesses tended. These women would uh, double as oracles. Gradually, however, these ceremonies were performed in secret rather than in public. The reason for this was the people's desire to monopolize the power of the gods. They copied the barbaric practices of legend, sacrifices, drinking, orgiastic festivals. Dangerous acts uh, such as these became widespread. Apollo, Dionysius, Orpheus. These were the gods they invoked when performing the rituals. I didn't know Orpheus was a god. Wasn't he a musician? Are you all still paying attention? Don't cross the river Styx now. How about I toss out a question for you? Get it wrong and your aura will shift. Zilka Zilka Besa Besa. <laughs> now who to pick? I choose thee, Yuki. I've mentioned two Greek sorceresses. Who was Medea? One was Medea. Who was the other one? It was Circe. Good. Very good. Your aura, your aura is as clear as a mountain spring. Anyway, back to the lecture. It was that secrecy which turned priestesses into sorceresses. Teachings originally meant to bring salvation to the body and soul fell into mere debauchery, which lured people down the hideous path of immoral practices. Necrophilia, using babies as potion or spell ingredients. This was the birth of the abominable dark arts. Fuka around. Yes, she is. Sorry, I guess it's a Fuka day. I tried talking to a girl at the station the other day, and man, it was the worst. She was a believer of that cult, and she kept going on about Nick Sama this, Nick Sama that. What a letdown, man. Who the hell is this Nick's guy anyway? I want to learn his technique. Fuka! Happen to be free today. I was hoping you could join me for something. Uh -huh. Thank you. I hope no one's sitting in our usual spot. Me too. So, I tried putting my thoughts in order. I was so confused last time. I couldn't find the right words. I've said before, but I have a bad habit of thinking negatively. Like, when I have a difficult time deciding on something. But no one knows what the future holds. No matter how much you prepare, you can never really be sure what'll happen. So in situations like that, I think the most important thing you can do is believe. You have to think positively and trust that the future will smile upon you. The thing is, I'm not sure I can do that. I don't understand how it comes so naturally to everyone else. How are you able to tell yourself that things will work out in the end? Um, I believe in myself. Oh, I see. You really are strong. I 
Pink, I really admire that part of you. So, um, the reason I've been relying on you isn't just because you're our leader. It's because... you're you. It needs to be you. I understand Fuka's heartfelt words. Seems we've grown closer. You know, sometimes I think to myself, once I learn how to cook and I've paid you back for your help, will that be the end of us spending time together like this? Not at all. Thank you, but I'm sure there are lots of other people who depend on you, right? I can't get in the way of you that. You have no idea. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to sound so depressed. Oh, well, look at the time. We should start heading back. Hey, uh, do you mind if we'd make a small detour? I want to buy some ingredients. No I problem. I think I'll tackle making Koro-chan's dinner today. I went shopping with Fuka, then headed home. Welcome back. So, um... I was thinking about what Strega said, about the fall being salvation. Didn't someone else say something similar? Uh, we, we've had this conversation. Yes! Shutsuki. Why did it say it was a new thing? Hey. Studying for the college entrance exams got me thinking about where my life's going. So I'll say this again. We've all got our futures ahead of us, and we're not going to let Nick stand in our way. You've said this before, too. Every channel is showing news related to the cults. Uh, nothing going on in town. I will level up the Fuchs. The Fuking Fuka. so sleepy. It's been so cold that it's actually painful to leave the comfort of my bed. I'm starting to think that living life with apathy syndrome would be easier. Yeah, exactly. I know, right? I could sleep all day and people would get all concerned for me. Yep, yep. Yeah, exactly. Maybe I should get apathy syndrome, at least for a little while. That's a terrible thing to say. Like, even nowadays, like, people are like, oh, I hope I get sick so I don't have to go into work or whatever. I'm like, that's a terrible fucking thing to say. Like, why would you do that to yourself? Uh, no Fuka today, so we will continue on with Igus. If you don't mind, I'd like to stop by somewhere with you on the way back. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Does Polonia Mall work? I know everyone always hangs out there. Excuse me, could I trouble you for a moment? Have you seen a kitty cat around here? She's a precious little white spotted cat named Michan. She slipped away when I wasn't looking. I'm so worried about where she could have gone. She's getting on in her years, like me, so I doubt she could have gotten very far. A white spotted cat. Did you see one? No, I haven't. Oh, I see. I've been so worried. I hope my little Michan is eating all right. Thank you for your help. I'll try looking elsewhere. A white spotted cat named Michan. If you don't mind, could we help her look? Being separated from a loved one can be very distressing after all. Alright. Yes! 
Um, what's the phrase usually used in situations like these? What goes around, comes around to hit you in the back of the head. That's it. Close enough. She might be so hungry, she could eat a house. Or was it hungry as a house? In any case, we should hurry. Mi-chan-san! Mi-chan-san? trace of her. I can detect hostile readings like shadows. But when it comes to this, I'm useless, aren't I? And I was the one who insisted we search. I'm sorry. Um. Don't let it get to you. It's not working out. After all, how could a machine like myself have feelings like a normal person? <sighs> it's getting dark. We should probably give up the search for today. Thank you very much. I'm happy that you took the time to indulge me in this. I guess is smiling. I feel like I understand her a little better now. I'll be going back alone today. I need some time to think. I'm sorry. After you invited me out, too. Borf? Yes. You seem to be saying we will win. Okay. Yes, I agree. We will win together. Koromaru-san is also a proud and splendid teammate. If you intend to go to Tartarus, please consider adding him to the combat party. Koromaru-san would be greatly pleased. Seriously? Everyone being fooled by that cult better wake up, man. Don't they know it's Striga's all behind it? Hell, don't they have anything else to do to believe in other than Striga's BS sermons? Again, you've said all this shit. Oh, hey. Arf arf. Feel some strong sense of determination. A 50-year-old housewife was implicated in banking fraud. When questioned, she said a man calling himself Nix's son forced her to do it. Okay. Ken Amada. Where is he? Oh, hi. Oh! Seems like he was waiting for me. Sure. Yes! Okay, let's head out then. Here comes the champ! Now things are getting exciting! Get him, Amada! Why are you here? We heard you guys were gonna have a match, so we came to witness it. These kinds of things need an audience, don't you think? When I told them I wanted to beat you, they all offered to help. I set up a training routine for him, and gave him advice on his movements. I also wanted to build my legs and core, so I've been going on runs with Koromaru. And I took on the role of being you for practice matches. We figured if you couldn't land a hit on Junpei, then beating you would be out of the question. But hey! Spare a thought for the guy covered in bruises over here! Man, he really didn't hold back anything on me. Well then, let's do this! 
<laughs> You're doing good, Amada! Keep it up! You can do this. Just take it half a step further. <laughs> Crap, did he get hit? The next one's coming. Get up! No hard feelings. Hey, are you guys up there? And now he's gonna strike. Oh. oh yeah! That's a clean hit! The winner is Amada in the blue corner! <laughs> I just got lucky. Plus, I did kind of cheat. Kind of? No. You saw a uh, window yeah, of it's opportunity. True. And you, you saw a window it. of opportunity. Yeah. That's something to be proud of. It is. Fuka and I bought some roasted sweet potatoes. I was looking for everyone to come eat with us, but what are you guys doing up here anyway? We're witnessing a showdown between men. Right, Namada? It sounds kind of weird when you put it like that. But yeah, I guess so. It was a great match on both sides. Huh? I don't really get it, but it sounds like you're having fun. It's cold though, so you should head inside soon. Oh wait, did you say sweet potatoes? Count me in! I bought them for a monocoon. Junpei, you can have the skin and the burnt parts. Yay! What am I, a dog? Thanks for the match. I learned a lot from it. You were great. No, I just got lucky. I was stuck on the defensive that whole time, but I think I did do better than our last fight. Now, I just need to apply this to a real battle. Technically, we're tied one to one now, so the next match decides the real winner. Not sure I actually have a chance, though, but I hope you'll let me challenge you again sometime. You gotta promise, okay? Okay. Then, until that time comes, will you hold on to this for me? Silver key. That's the key to the house I lived in with my mom. Whenever I look at it, I remember the time I spent with her. That house is filled with all kinds of memories we shared together. I know the final battle isn't going to be easy, but no matter what, I want to come back here. I feel like this key will connect us to each other. And I hope, someday, Maybe I can be that person someone can always come back to. Just like how mom and everyone at the dorm was there for me. Uh, sorry for talking for so long. Shall we go down and have some sweet potatoes? So our next match would be next year? Or maybe even longer than that. I know! How about once I reach the same height as you? And if we're around the same build, I might stand a chance. Oh, but you'll probably be even stronger by then. <laughs> when that time comes, I wonder what everyone will be like. It's exciting just thinking about it. Amada was beaming with happiness as we went to join the others. You can now fuse Michael, the protector of all. Now why isn't he protecting us from Nyx? I gotta do everything myself. So, uh... Dude, doesn't FTC bother you? Every time I look at it, it reminds me of him. If Ryoji were to walk in and sit down like nothing happened, how would you react? <sighs> That's not gonna happen. Nah. Yeah, I know. But I can't stop thinking about it. Uh, no Fuka. So. I've been continuing my search for Michan, but I haven't had any luck yet. Anyways, I'd like to walk home with you again. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. 
Thank you very much. Today's another cold day. Let's hurry before it gets dark. Was that a cat's meow? Could it be? Are you Mi Chan's son? It is Mi Chan's son. I'm so glad. Let's go tell the old lady about this. Did we get her information? Oh, oh there, there. You seem a little skinnier than you used to be. This little one is all I have left to keep me company. I was so lonely when Michan was missing. I don't know how I can thank the both of you. Lonely is being by oneself lonely. Oh, yes, dear. When you get to be my age, You'll find that all the wealth in the world won't take care of you. No one can truly live alone. Some of my neighbors have delightful children, but... Oh, oh, they aren't interested in old ladies like me. Miss... Well, Michan, shall we go home? Thank you so much, you two. It seems that living is something that can't be done alone. Um. I'm not of that camp. I totally believe people can live alone. Not everyone who lives alone is lonely. Um, but you might be right. Yes, it's important to keep someone in your thoughts, and to know that you are in theirs. To be able to contact them anytime, and to touch them. But I do understand one thing. It seems I feel happy when I'm together with you. I guess is smiling shyly. She's a shyly smiley. But I have to wonder Oops. if living means to be able to connect with other people. How close to that goal can I come with a body like mine? Just kidding. I've been exceedingly negative lately. I wonder what's wrong with me. We should start heading back. Oh, I guess. It's a faulty programming. That's Welcome why you're back. depressed. After today, it'll just be 10 more days till the day Ryoji was talking about. Uh, Alright, I'm hyped. We're gonna blow that next thing away. Well. That's right, man. Koromaru usually only gets the regular dog food. But it's time we give him the good stuff. By the way. Yes, Karamaru's physical condition and morale will need to be in top shape for the final battle. Good thinking, Yukari. Oh, yeah! We give Karachan a special dinner today. He needs to keep up his strength for the final battle, after all. Aw, look how happy he is. <laughs> You're what, what a lucky boy you are, right, Karachan? Eating a, eat a lot and get strong, okay? Um... Do you remember that time we ordered sushi? Well, Korochan was the only one who couldn't have any. So I prepared a special dinner tonight just for Korochan. I hope it helps him grow stronger. That he likes it, of course. By the way. Didn't Koromaru lose his owner because of the shadows? It's easy to forget because he's always so full of energy, but this battle must mean a lot to him. This is upstairs, probably. And let's level up, I guess.
I'm sorry to ask this so suddenly, but can you come with me? There's something we need to discuss. Uh, you and all of us, or just him? Just him for now. Come with me to the student council room. Isn't it kind of weird that she'd only want to talk to him? Eh, probably big, important student council business. Maybe, but Senpai was acting a little weird. She had that look she gets when she's keeping some terrible secret. Ah, you worry too much. Well, guess we might as well head home. Hey, wait a sec, Junpei. According to the seating chart, if he's not here, you have to take over cleaning duty. Have fun sweeping the hallway. What? Since when? That's a weird thing. There's something you have to know. The students clean the hallways? <laughs> the fuck? Do you remember Chidori, the girl who was with Strega? Yeah. I don't mean to alarm you, but the truth is, there's a chance that she may wake up today. What? Chidori's still alive? Yeah, I'm surprised about that too. I know what you're going to say, and yes, we did see her die with our own eyes. However, a few days later, her body began to undergo transmogrification. I For remember. the past few weeks, she's been in a sort of stasis, neither living nor dead. How is this possible? I don't know. It may be related to her persona's abilities, but that's mere speculation. The reason I wanted to talk to you is... How do you think we should tell Iori? You see... She's probably... Yes, it's me. I see. Yes, I understand. That was the hospital. They say she's just awakened. It's hard to believe, but it seems that Chidori really has come back to life. Did, Did I hear that right? Iori? Chidori is... Huh? Is this a joke? Some kind of trick? No, it's not a joke or a trick. She's currently recovering in the same hospital as before. But, Iori, she probably... Shidori? Shidori's... alive? <laughs> what? Hey, Junpei! What about your cleanup duty? Jeez, what's gotten into him? Well, I guess it's a moot point now, but perhaps it's for the best that he found out this way. I think I'll head to the hospital after this too. Could I ask you to come along? We all decided to go to Tatsumi Memorial Hospital together. Huh? Junpei? You took off that fast and you still haven't gone inside? Well, I mean, it's kind of... We'll wait outside. It wouldn't be good for all of us to charge in. I agree. Go on, Iori. You go in, too. <gasps> Our damaged endocrine system and other internal organs have completely healed. She's still weak, but there's no more danger of her dying in two years. Chidori? Is it really you? I'm not dreaming. Am I? Dreaming? <laughs> it's true. It is you. Chidori! <sighs> Who... are you? Huh? W what? I thought so. Transmogrification is the proof that one lacks potential. I had a feeling this might be the case. This is Kirijo-san and Iori-kun. They were your friends last year. 
friends? <sighs> My name is Jidori Yoshino. I'm sorry. It hasn't quite hit me yet, but I guess I don't remember anything of the past few years. It's like I was having a really long dream. Jidori Yoshino. It seems all of her memories after she awakened to her persona are gone. She remembers everything that happened before then. But as for you all... <sighs> Iori... Nah... I think... It's better for her that she doesn't remember. All that stuff about the fighting and the suppressants. When you're having a nightmare... It's better to be able to wake up. I didn't say it was a nightmare. Don't put words in my mouth. It was a dream of meeting a kind, warm person at the end of a long tunnel. I can't remember it clearly, but I wanted to make him happy. And I... I think... There were flowers. A room filled with them. Uh. Chidori, take it easy. Don't force yourself to remember. Flowers in a room. If she can remember that part clearly, then maybe... <gasps> Do you remember how she'd occasionally use her power to make flowers bloom again? She'd always do it for the flowers in her room on the days when Iori-kun would visit. And she would always spend more time on the flowers she received from you, Iori-kun. She never even looked at me when I brought them in, though. <laughs> now I see. Any flower she touched would be mysteriously preserved. I ended up keeping them all for my research. But after the autopsy, I put them all on her chest as a tribute. Now that I think about it, that must have been the night she began to transmogrify. The power to share one's life with others. Could she have reclaimed the life energy she'd given to those flowers? Well, it's no real proof, but compared to her previous state, she's changed. The loss of her power is part of it, but furthermore... Excuse me? Are you talking about me? We were talking about how you want to live now. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Of course I want to live. I have to find the person in my dream someday. I don't have time to lie in bed forever. Supposing you do find him, what will you do after that? Well... <sighs> that's none of your business. Chidori. The strength of two hearts connected brought about a miracle. Or, rather, a victory. No. <laughs> Chidori. Hey, hey. W why are you crying? I... I can't help it. I... I've... <laughs> I've never been so happy in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> Have some self-control now. Let's go. Is that Yukari? Hmm? <laughs> Good for Iori. Oh, welcome back. All right. Kirijo Group will protect her with all the resources at, at its command. That's a promise. So if you guys are wondering why she doesn't have her memories it's because you know anyone who experiences a dark hour and comes out of it forgets everything right 
So, because she lost access to her persona, which gave her the ability to be awake in the dark hour, once a persona is gone, you know, she, lo she lost her memories. And the persona was like, it's not her innate persona. It was kind of grafted onto her, like the ability to have one, just like with Igis, right? <sighs> I was so sad seeing Junpei like that back then. I'm so happy for him. Um... Sorry, every time I think about it, I start to tear up. Yo. Now Junpei's got all the more reason to give it his all. No way he'll let us lose. Very intriguing. It's beautiful how two people care so much about one another. <laughs> Today's the best day of my entire life. Again, good for you, man. Uh, oh, I didn't get to hang out with anyone today, did I? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I'm... Stuff like this just kills the time. Today's Cantonese word is holin. Holin means pitiful. Are we holin to be living in this kind of world? Well, that's all for this week. Back to the news. Oh, um, let me actually completely forgot. Come on in. It's still sold out. Come back uh -huh. anytime. Selling out with oh. Ken. It's like I'm a barista or something. This is pretty fun. You can take your coffee to go if you want. Sure. Oh, right. Amada seems calm. We pass the time drinking coffee together. Sometimes adding milk and sugar is nice. But I usually take it black, of course. Excellent cup. If you feel like meeting up for coffee again, just let me know. Hey, dude! Our career consultation is next week, right? Are you planning to go to university? Yep, yep. Yep, I'm gonna study abroad. Huh? Abroad? This is the first I've heard about that. I'm your boyfriend, you have to tell me this stuff like this. Our career consultation is next week. Yep. It's been getting restless out there, huh? Have you seen all those flyers at the station? None of that stuff is any substance, though. You can tell there's no certainty in what they say. That's right. It's a matter of probability. Hey, don't give me those looks. The, well, the end of the world. Let's discuss the odds. Stay awake. So, after that. so as you can see, it's impossible to irrefutably prove that the end of the world is nigh. That means there's no reason to worry about it. That means there's no reason to worry about it. I said that weird. Instead, take a good look at the elegance of this proof. Numbers are truth, and truth is beauty. Even if the world ends, numbers will remain. Even if humans vanish, taking mathematics with them, the concept of numbers won't disappear. Numbers will outlast humanity. I guarantee it. So fascinating. Alright, do we have a Fuka in the house? We do. Fuka! You know. We 
chat on the roof? Yeah. So, um, please don't laugh at this, okay? The other day, I let Yukari-chan try a new dish I made. She liked it so much, she ended up eating it all. So I told her it was meant to return the favor for what everyone's done for me. But she got really confused and asked me what favor this was about. It didn't seem like she had any idea what I was talking about, so I told her the whole story. And when I finished, she burst out laughing. She told me I didn't need to do anything like that. She said, when you're friends, you don't keep score. She's right. I'd been so negative this whole time. I felt like I needed to be useful to belong here. Even though that wasn't true at all. It was just what I was telling myself. I was being blinded by my fear. But understanding this made me realize what I really wanted to do. I've been going on about wanting to repay everyone for what they've done for me. But the real reason is a lot more simple. So, um, will you hear me out? Normally, I'd ask your opinion on how best to do something like this, but... <sighs> I... I want you by my side. I want to be together with you. Forever. Um... I feel the same way. Um... I... I hope you understood what I meant just now. Better choose my words carefully here. We'll always be friends. Thank you. You know, as long as I'm with you and everyone else at the dorm, then I feel like I'll be okay, no matter what happens. I know our bonds can't be torn apart. I wouldn't have been able to think like this if you hadn't been there to help me with my terrible cooking. So thank you, for everything. I won't dwell on having to repay everyone anymore, but I think I'm going to stick with cooking for a bit longer. And this time, not to maintain my relationship with anyone, but because I want to do it for myself. I can sense Fuka's determination. it's all right with you, do you think you could still help me with my cooking sometime? I know it might not always go well, and sometimes it might feel like I'm imposing on you, but I think it'd be fun to cook with friends. Sure. Yes! Thank you! I figured it would be best to choose something that's fun to do with others. <laughs> I can't wait! Oh, I need to get going! I have to go shopping for cookbooks. Let me know if you think of anything too, okay? I'll see you later. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. Thank you. God, everyone has something new to say every fucking day. Career consultation, huh? Why do we have to do this crap right before a battle? Damn it, I've got too much on my mind. You think I could just skip it? I suppose. It's an anti-shadow weapon. I did what was ordered of me. There's always someone dictating my actions, my choices. So choosing what I want to pursue for my own future will be a new experience for me. <laughs> Though it may be difficult, I'll do my best. So please, do the same, Makoto-san. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. You'll be having your career consultation soon. Have you given it any consideration? Sure have. All right. Good. Speak with confidence when you meet with your teacher. Yeah. Your, your career consultation is next week, right? I've got no advice for you. This is something you're going to have to figure out on your own. If you let someone else tell you what to do with your life... Might end up presenting that person if things go south.
Entrance exams are looming for the city's student population. However, with the cultists around, please be careful. Uh, we spend time with Fuka, so we'll have to do this one with her for her one last time. Fuchs, we do have the Fuchs. Jeez, relaxed, bro. Why bother doing anything at all when the world's gonna end? That's what some guy told me anyway. Oh, hi. Alright, let's finish you off. I, you know what I mean. I was thinking of returning to the dorm to cook. Would you like to join me? I'll be starting from scratch today. Oh, I didn't put the thing last night. The taiyaki. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's not like I've been using it anyway. <laughs> I already bought everything we need, so why don't we go back? Why don't we head back and get started? Okay. I think that does it for the gyoza filling. I thought it might be nice to add some textures, so I made sure there's plenty of vegetables mixed in. Uh... How bold. I'm a little worried, but I wanted to give it a try. We went by the book for the seasoning, so it shouldn't turn out too different. Next, we have to put the filling in the wrappers, but... Uh, where is she? Sorry I'm late. It was a long day of practice. Oh, have you gotten pretty far already? Welcome back. We were just starting on the wrappers. I invited Yukari-chan to join us. We were talking about cooking the other day, and she seemed really interested. I mean, you almost never invite me to something like this, Fuka. So I was happy when you did. Have you changed recently, or is it just me? Have I? In what way? You just seem more at ease now. Or maybe it's more confidence. Don't you think so? I agree. Yeah, see? That's what I thought. Really? Well, I'm glad if that's the case. He's been helping me a lot recently, and been really supportive of me. So I think maybe that's why. I see. You haven't been making moves on Fuka, have you? Uh, no, it's not like that. He was just helping me as a friend. That's all, really. Well, I trust Fuka, so I guess you're in the clear. But if you weren't, you'd be eating my fist. <laughs> oh, the gyoza wrappers are going to dry out. Let's start wrapping, shall we? Everyone finished wrapping the gyoza? And then we started cooking. Oh, I love gyoza so much. I can hear them crackling pleasantly. Gyoza are finished. What? Uh, they look delicious. Oh, wow! It's so good! How are yours, Yukari-chan? The flavor and texture are perfect. I think this is the best gyoza I've ever had. There's plenty more white rice if you want, too. Oh, I would, but... Sorry, I actually gotta get going. I've gotta clean my archery uniform before tomorrow. Oh, you can leave my dishes. I'll clean them when I get back. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. Besides, we'll save on water if we do them all at once. <sighs> Sorry about this. I'll make sure I can stick around till the end next time. But thanks for having me. It looks like they barely even touch a gyoza. <laughs> so you many. Notice she said next time? I was a little nervous at first, but I'm glad I challenged myself. Oh, that reminds me. I have something I wanted to give you. You're always listening to music, so I thought you might like these. 
Fuka's headphones. And I think you were a fan of this design, so I tried to match it. Thanks. I replaced my old headphones with the ones Fuka gave me. Oh, that's cool. The sound quality is unbelievably clear. Her technical skills must be next level. Remember how I told you I was pretty good with machines? Well, how are they? My mind is blown. <laughs> pretty cool, right? Just kidding. Actually, I've decided I want to become more accepting of myself. I want to be able to say I'm proud of who I am. And I think this is the first step to reaching that goal. I'm going to be more confident in the things I'm good at. I hope you're happy with them. I can sense Fuka cares about me. And another uh, Arcana in the bag. Another social link done. Uh, Skathach, the instructor. But I'm not going to give up on cooking either. I'll embrace the things I'm good at, but Oops. also find more things I can do. I'm going to change, one step at a time. Oh, if there's anything you decide you want to try doing, just let me know. I'll always be here to help. I had a good time eating gyoza and talking with Fuka. All right, now we just gotta focus on Icus. Oh. What? The timing for this couldn't be worse. We'll have to figure out what we want in the future now of all times. Seriously. What about you? Do you know what you want to do? Yes, I do. Oh. Wow, you really have it together. And your consultation will be a breeze, huh? I saw a TV show the other day that said the family environment influences your career choice. Whether someone grows up in a strict household or a lenient one, all of that affects how a person relates to others. Mm. It's kind of complicated, huh? Well, it all comes down to the whole nature versus nurture thing. Um. Uh, which apparently studies have shown doesn't seem to be the case, really. There is no real debate of nature versus nurture. Scientifically, it doesn't make a difference, apparently. Away. Career consultation is coming up. I've already decided on going to college. It wasn't a difficult decision to make. I mean, I couldn't think of anything I wanted to do besides study. But it's hardly a decision I can I can say I chose for the sake of my own future, is it? Uh, that's not true. Well, well, it might be fine for now, but I'll have to make a real decision someday. I need to have a broader outlook for my future. Every channel showing news related to the cults. Blah, blah, blah. Junbei. Oh, right. Hey. Sure. Let's do this. Oh, actually. Oh. I want to check the fridge real quick. Yeah, I, I missed my opportunity. That's okay. Go. All right. Let's see if there's anything new here. Try one more time. Oops. Come on in. 
Nah, I guess it's just one, one and done. It sucks. Uh, guess I'll work. Got nothing else to really do. You worry because you're confused, and you're confused because you don't know what to believe. Humans are frail creatures. It's hard for us to stand our own, on our own two feet. My advice to you youngsters is to make friends and believe in them with all your heart. You know that cult is spreading all over the country now? Do you think there are cultists in this mall right now? My neighbor's kid was approached by one of them too. Something about the fall? I think there really might be some cultists here. The people around us look suspicious. Oh, can't work. Sure. There are many more moviegoers than usual today. I got all kinds of questions from customers, but I was able to answer all of them. I made public announcements about lost items, even though I wasn't used to it. You really are a one-of-a-kind worker. I hope you continue to stop by and help out. Since I've gotten better at my work, they're giving me a slight raise. I didn't see how much I was. Hang on one second, guys. I see you're back. Sorry about that, guys. Probably already know this, but just in case. Once we enter Tartarus on January 31st, we won't be able to leave until the battle's over. Losing isn't an option. Spend your time this week, this last week, wisely. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman, our final episode, Fly Phoenix, a marriage between Hawk and Swan. And as for Condor, on to today's news, cult membership continues to grow while, while blank. Ah, sorry. So I'm actually going to call it here. Uh, we probably got a few episodes left, maybe two or three episodes left um, for this playthrough, which is kind of sad to think about because uh, I've been playing this game for a few months now and uh, it'll be sad to say goodbye to these characters. But we still got a little bit of ways to go and hope you guys are enjoying the playthrough. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.